This video explores the most mysterious phenomena on Earth, opening the door to unexplained mysteries. We will witness the astonishing accumulation of lava beneath volcanoes in Bolivia and the enigmatic concentric circles in the Sahara Desert. Additionally, we will delve into the man-swallowing holes on Baldy Sand Dune in the United States and the intriguing stories behind the mysterious outer coating on desert rocks. This video immerses you in a world of enigmatic natural phenomena, raising questions for scientists to uncover the truth behind them. The rapid accumulation of lava beneath the volcano in Bolivia and the concentric circles in the Sahara Desert are a few geological phenomena that scientists have yet to explain. The man-swallowing hole in the sand dune. Baldy is the name of the tallest sand dune on the southern edge of Lake Michigan in the United States. It stands at a height of 370 meters. It is referred to as a living dune because it moves 100 to 200 centimeters per year. The movement of the dune is triggered when visitors disturb the grass, which helps bind the sand layers together. Wind is the culprit behind Baldi's movement. However, its ability to swallow people is what astonishes the scientific community. In July 2013, a six-year-old boy named Nathan Wosner had an accident on Baldi when a sudden hole appeared beneath him. The hole was three meters deep, and it took three hours to rescue Nathan. A month later, another hole appeared. This is a mysterious phenomenon because holes cannot form in sand. Whenever a hole appears, sand quickly fills it, and the hole disappears. It seems like we are witnessing a new geological phenomenon, stated Aaron Argulon, a geologist studying Baldi. Aaron believes that during the dunes movement, it has buried many trees. These decaying trees release gas from beneath the sand, which causes the holes to form. Baldi has been previously mined for sand used in glass production, so it is possible that mining activities have contributed to the formation of these holes. Concentric circles in the Sahara Desert. The eye of the Sahara is a circular area with a diameter of up to 50 kilometers in the hottest desert on Earth, the Sahara. It consists of concentric circles in shades of blue. For a long time, scientists believed that the eye of the Sahara was the result of a collision between a meteor and the Earth. However, recent studies have disproven this hypothesis. If a meteor had fallen, the impact pressure and temperature would have left behind compounds like cosite, a form of silicon dioxide. The mysterious volcano in the Americas. Uturuncu, a volcano standing at 6,000 meters in southwestern Bolivia, erupted for the last time 300,000 years ago. Satellite images have shown that magma is rapidly accumulating beneath the volcano over the past 20 years. According to calculations by some geologists, the volume of magma is increasing by 1 cubic meter per second. As a result, the surrounding area, which spans 70 kilometers, is swelling at a rate of a few centimeters per year, as reported by new scientists. The first question is, how long has this swelling been occurring? Scientists have studied the area around the volcano, but they have not found the answer. The future of Uturunku also remains a mystery. Sean De Silva, a volcano expert at the University of Oregon in the United States, has been studying Uturunku since 2006 and predicts that it may become a supervolcano. However, other geologists have not found convincing evidence to support Sean's prediction. Nevertheless, 300,000 years is the average time between volcanic eruptions in northwest Bolivia. Therefore, Uturunku may be on the verge of a major event. The Grand Canyon Gorge, USA The Grand Canyon, a steep gorge in Arizona, USA, is one of the most famous geological formations on Earth and a major subject of scientific research. One group of scientists believes that the Colorado River carved and created the Grand Canyon. However, another group argues that the gorge has existed for a long time, and the Colorado River just happened to flow through it. The debate about the Grand Canyon revolves around the time of its formation. Some believe it appeared about 6 million years ago, while others suggest a figure of 70 million years. The unique pink color of Lake Hillier, Australia. Although Hillier is not the only pink-colored lake in the world, it is certainly one of the most mysterious. 
Hillier was discovered in 1802 on a large island in the Recherche Archipelago, Western Australia. Unlike other pink lakes such as Lake Retba and the salt ponds in San Francisco Bay, scientists have not determined the exact cause of Hillier's pink color. Some speculate that it is due to a combination of shrimp species and microorganisms like Halobacteria or Deniliella salina. Others suggest that the algae itself is responsible for the coloration. Meanwhile, many agree that the reaction of salt in the lake contributes to its pink hue. The color of Lake Hillier is not affected by sunlight, as water taken from the lake and moved elsewhere still retains its pink color. While scientists have not determined the exact cause, the enchanting pink color of Lake Hillier adds to the natural beauty of Australia. The outer coating on desert rocks. A thin layer of pink and black material exists on the outer surface of rocks in the desert. Ancient people carved unique engravings by removing this coating. Despite the widespread presence of desert rocks, the origin of this outer coating remains a mystery. The coating is predominantly composed of clay. Iron and manganese, which determine the color and mystery of the rocks, account for about one-third of the composition. Experiments have shown that microorganisms can produce these compounds. However, another hypothesis suggests that bacteria can also rapidly produce the outer coating on desert rocks. Based on the composition of the coating, which includes various silica compounds, many researchers believe that dust in the air is responsible for the pink and black coloring. The most recent hypothesis suggests that this coating is formed by unique biological processes carried out by microorganisms. The mystery of the outer coating on desert rocks continues to be a topic for researchers to explore and speculate upon. Please subscribe to the channel to support me. Thank you for watching the video.